quite happy with the way that um, um, I've bowled. I just really want to do a good job for the team. Um, and I feel like I'm doing that. Um, the first ODI was, was my first ODI for about 18, 20 months. So it's just really nice more than anything to be back out um, with the team after a, after a pretty difficult year for me personally. Um, and look, for me, the most important thing is that the team's winning and they're doing that. And if I can contribute, then great. I was obviously with um, coming off the back of the World Cup, having um, pretty much going straight into having foot surgery um, and kind of getting back fit for, for the bubble against um, the series against West Indies and probably not performing as well as I would like. And um, and then fracturing my knee in a, in a kind of a freak um, fielding incident at training and missing the tour in New Zealand. So not played a huge amount of cricket um, in the past year. Had a couple of long rehabs, which are always which are always tough. And when you're probably, I guess, closer to the end of your career than you are the start, they they seem to um, hit a bit harder. I don't think it's just about me and Catherine. I think there's plenty of people who have got it's, everyone's playing that much cricket. Obviously, we've both had a bit of history with injuries, but actually, if you look over the last period, probably over the last four or five years, we haven't actually missed a huge amount of cricket. So it's obviously going to be tough, but it's going to be tough for everyone. Um, but what we've got is we've got an awesome group of, of fast bowlers of opening bowlers see how well Kate cross bowls um, I'm a massive fan of Freya I think she's going to lead this attack for years to come and I'll look when she was around the squad um, I think really impressed Tash Farron who bowled really well in New Zealand so we've got an awesome group of seamers and and everyone is ready to perform in international cricket it's a it's a very collaborative thing because um, we all bowl pretty differently and we'll all have slightly different plans to batters depending on what our strengths are, strengths are I think Obviously, like if you take me and Catherine, for example, we obviously both swing the ball different ways, so our plans aren't going to look the same. So it's it's very collaborative. Um, obviously, with the, the way the game's moving and and footage and analysis and things like that, it's good. To, it's it's easier to have really clear plans. And I think we've done a pretty good job so far of executing them. A bit of both, I think. I think you've got, you've got to have um, some ideas in the back of, in the back of your head, but also it's. The game moves and you've and you've got to be able to go with that because you may have a certain plan and and the pitch not be conducive to that so i do think um especially once you've played enough cricket you kind of get a sense for what's happening and what's going to work and what's going to what's going to not work so i think it's a it's a little bit of both yeah absolutely um she's a world-class player um probably getting the team as a batter and a bowler and and she plays a an important role for us um she can bowl anywhere um in the innings really she's She's opened the bowling for us in the past, first change. She bowls quite a lot of overs at the death. And she really, I think her and Catherine really give our team um, some really good balance and, and allow us to play plenty of bowling options. I mean, we've got six options um, and Heather as well. So we've got seven bowling options and a, and a really long batting lineup. So her role is crucial. And and she is, she's obviously a really important player for us. Oh, it's, it's incredible. And um, I don't want to compliment her too much, but no, um, she's she is such a crucial player for us, um, and she just keeps getting better and better. I think the way she obviously didn't bowl as well as she had liked to have bowled, um, mind you, Ed, the other day. Um, but then to come out and bat the way that she did, and and she's just someone who's got so much um, fire in her belly. I'm glad she's on our team. I'm not sure she was very happy that um, she spent her birthday at 1:30 a.m outside because of a fire alarm at the hotel that's probably not the way to start your birthday but yeah she's an awesome player and hopefully she can play for another 25 years.